This was a different nation, and most people think they were in Iraq, and they thought they were following Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Some say they were the people of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam. They were following the Sharia of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam. Wallahu a'lam. Nothing is known for sure. The real thing is, man amana billahi wal yawmil akhir wa amila salihan. Whosoever believes in Allah. has real faith in allah and the day of judgment the last day wa amila salihan and then he does or he did good deeds fa lahum ajruhum inda rabbihim for their reward is now with their rabb with their master it is assured their reward is assured with their master with their rabb wala khaufun alayhi wala hum yazalun and there shall be no fear upon them and nor shall they be they be grieved so this aya is a very controversial aya of the quran some people have inferred from this aya that having faith in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not essential for salvation because here also you note that iman bil akhira and iman billah only two basic articles of iman have been mentioned ان الذين امنوا والذين هادوا والنصارى والصابين من امن بالله واليوم الاخر وعمل صالحا فلهم اجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون but actually it's a big mistake to argue in that way because here you refer to the section number 6 of this very surah this whole discussion starts with an invitation to the jews to believe in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it is as if you know in arithmetic you know there is some sum which is outside the brackets and it is multiplied by all the quantities that are within the brackets here actually this whole discussion is governed it will be at every moment at every place it will be multiplied by the contents of those seven ayat which came in the beginning that is why you know there is a very close similarity between this this bracket the word i am using because the two ayat which with which this discussion has now started ya bani israil askuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum alal alamin wattaqu yawman la tajzi nafsun an nafsin shay'a wa la yuqbalu bina shafa'at wa la yu'khadhu minha 'adl wa la hum yunsarun the same two ayat will come in the beginning of section 15 ya bani israil askuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum alal alamin the same two ayat what does it mean the bracket starts with these two ayat and brackets end with those two ayat and before this bracket are the seven ayat of section 6 and you know the main theme of that section is wa aminu bima anzaltu musaddiqan lima ma'akum wa la takunu awwala kafirin bi wa la tashtaru bi ayati samanan qalilan wa iyaya fattaqun ya bani israil kuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum وَأَوْفُوا بِعَهْدِي أُوفِ بِعَهْدِكُمْ وَإِيَّا يَفْرَحُونَ So basic subject is the call to the Jews to believe in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Quran. Now that common factor has been taken out outside the the bracket. It is not being repeated everywhere now, but it is governing the whole passage, the whole address, you know, that is commanding and that is governing the whole passage, and that is actually the meaning. Now if we gaze our eyes and fix our gaze on this eyes what does it mean it means that at, at the time of every ummah there was a time when muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not born up till that time the ummah was nasara whosoever christian at that time believed in allah and the akhirah and good and did good deeds but his reward is assured with allah subhanahu wa taala is safe he will get the reward before hazrat e masih alaihi salatu wasalam 
it was the days of the prophethood and messengerhood of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam. Any Jew who actually believed in Allah and Yawmi Akhara and he was going to be, well his reward is also shown. So actually this pertains to the periods of every ummah. That from every ummah, only belonging to an ummah is not decisive in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you are a Jew. Even in the days before Hazrat Masih alayhi salam, if there was a Jew, if he was not doing good deeds, he, if he didn't have real belief in Allah, well, his deeds were meaningless in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he had no position. Even for the Muslims today, if you only profess to believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa this is the era of Muhammad now, after the advent of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa everybody has to believe in him. But only believing in him doesn't mean anything. Unless we really believe in Allah, unless we really believe in the day uh, of judgment, unless we really believe in the hereafter, unless our good deeds are there, and they are just, you know, rationally proportional to our beliefs and our professions, then actually, unless these things are there, uh, being a Muslim, being counted a Muslim in this world, doesn't mean anything on the day of judgment. So this is the essence of this ayah. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَالَّذِينَ هَادُوا وَالنَّسَارَ وَالسَّابِقِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلَهُمْ عَجْرُهُمْ إِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْس